For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, and temperate. Titus 1, verses 7 to 8. Dear Lord, you have set clear standards for leaders in your church. For that, I am grateful, because the flock of God can be vulnerable to corruption. Its shepherds must be people of integrity. But I also know these qualities do not just apply to pastors and ministry leaders. These qualities apply to anybody who desires to be effective for the kingdom of God. Purify my heart, strengthen my character, and refine my conduct for your glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on Stoic Leadership. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is all about Stoic leadership. So right now, let's just head to a calm space. Maybe take a minute to gather your thoughts, quiet your spirit, close your eyes, and just breathe easy. Now fix your attention on God and on what he has for you this day. Again, today we'll be meditating on Titus chapter 1, verses 7 to 8 from the King James Version. They read, For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate. Right now, my friends, let's just take some time to adore God for being the perfect example. God, I look to you and praise you for your greatness. I worship you for the salvation found through your sacrifice and submission at Calvary, for your perfect portrayal of leadership and love displayed at the cross. I praise you for you overcame, you challenged the world, and you won. I extol you for your life is a living example of hope and victory for all of humanity. You see, leaders lead by example. It is human nature to mimic and mirror observed behavior, especially of those perceived as powerful or in positions of authority. As a godly leader, you are called to imitate Christ and to lead by example. Jesus Christ was a consistent and complete illustration of what a leader should be. He lived to serve and served in love, placing the needs of others before his own and seeking to do God's will in all things. As Christ lived and led, so should you. Understandably, this can seem a daunting duty as Jesus set the bar pretty high, yet do not be discouraged or disheartened. God knows the task of leadership is not easy and that you are not perfect. You will war with yourself and struggle with your flesh to lead as Christ did. Nonetheless, you must not allow imperfections and insecurities to stop you or to keep you from striving to imitate Christ and to lead by example. So right now in this moment, confess your sins and shortcomings to the Holy Spirit and he will care for you and aid you along your path. Now let's make the transition by taking a moment just to dwell on God's amazing leadership. Think of how Jesus acted while here on this earth. Thank him for submitting himself in obedience to God's will, for continuously and wholeheartedly loving others in kindness and humility. Thank him for setting aside his personal desires for the benefit of mankind and for being the perfect example to be emulated. Give thanks to God for his leadership over you yesterday today and always my friends god is present and he is listening to you jesus was intimately acquainted with the burden of leadership he is aware of the struggle and hardship associated with being looked up to as jesus persevered in setting the example through his actions you will too because you're not alone so right now in this moment ask the holy spirit to help you submit your whole heart to christ Ask him to empower you with conviction and determination to love as Christ loved, 
to live as Christ lived, and to lead as Christ led. Remember, leaders should embody the attributes they wish to see in others. A leader should live a holy and blameless life filled with self-control. For leadership requires a life of humility and righteousness filled with peace, hospitality, love, wisdom, and lacking in greed. A leader should be like Christ and should lead by example. So be encouraged by God's love and his testimony and strive to love and to lead others in God's likeness. And I promise you will reap God's blessings. My friends, thank you for completing today's meditative prayer on Pray.com. By incorporating this healthy habit as a daily practice, I believe not only are you making prayer a priority, but you're also strengthening your walk with God. As always, my name is Zach Clinton, Vice President of the American Association of Christian Counselors, and we love being a part of your life. Hey, to find out a little bit more information, inspiration, help, hope, and encouragement, I would encourage you to visit our website at aacc.net. Again, that is aacc.net.